The second takeaway is that you're not a loser for like not knowing this stuff. The DMAT is a test which is not made for, at least in my understanding, it's not made for smart people. It's made for dedicated people. So if I could do it, I think anybody could do it. Hi everybody, my name is Daniela. I'm 23 years old, so I'm a little bit young for the MBA bunch, but I'm actually trying to pursue a PhD in organizational behavior, um, which is why I had to take the GMAT. Um, it has been a challenge for me. I've been working on this since January this year, and I finally scored my 720, um, surprisingly, <laughs> in October. So yeah, it's been a long, long ride. Um, let me tell you a little, a little bit about my background and, and my prep. Um, I was born and raised in Buenos Aires, Argentina, so although my accent may sound a little deceiving, <laughs> more on the American side, um, that I have my mom to thank for. Um, she's American. Um, but I was actually born and raised here and educated here. I mean, I, I went to a Spanish-speaking school. I went to a Spanish-speaking university for my undergrad. And, I mean, while I can speak decent English, I, I don't understand what I'm doing. So, like, as for grammar and vocabulary and structure of sentences, I didn't have a clue as to why things were the way they were. So when I started my GMAT prep, um, I knew verbal would be a challenge, but most importantly, quant would be a challenge because I actually, my undergrad was communication, which is mainly journalism and advertising. Draw your own conclusions on my quant um, skills. <laughs> no, I'll draw the conclusions for you. They kind of sucked. Um, so, so I started out my prep um, with a private tutor. Um, they were great um, and they did teach me everything I knew I know to date about uh, quant. I mean I know we're talking about um, high school level stuff but there is a whole other I mean if you've at least looked a little bit into the GMAT there's a whole um, other side to it like logic wise and um, and the difficulty I mean the, the theme like not the themes the um the subjects are easy but the application is like practically <laughs> impossible so for some people especially when you're just starting out so i am glad that i started out with a private tutor because i did feel kind of like a loser in every regard i felt like um well i'm okay at english but this is going to be complicated for me and i am awful at math so i need uh <laughs> i need somebody to help me out here um so i'm glad that i did look for those resources but i took the test in july and many factors came into play uh, when it came to my um my failure because i scored a 620 which for phd programs is pretty low especially what i was aiming for and I mean, PhD programs are notoriously more competitive than MBA programs. I mean, I don't know if more competitive, um, they're more selective. Like you get one to 2% admission rates there. Um, so, so yeah, I had to step up my game and um, I decided that I would broaden my spectrum when it came to the GMAT because while I was getting really good um, education from a private tutor, um, I really, um, I really needed to, to see what it was like for other people. So then I signed up for the GMAT club. I read other people's debriefs and experiences, and that was really helpful. And I came across uh, target test prep because a friend recommended it to me. A friend that had also gone through a very lengthy two year process and scored a 720 like I did eventually. <laughs> so he insisted on target test prep for my quant prep. Um, he said, I don't know about the verbal side because when he took it, there was no verbal side on target test prep, but you have to do your quant with target test prep. Do not even look at other stuff because I've been through it all. And I can tell you most definitely that you need to do the target test prep. And he insisted correctly that I should, um, take two or more months to do the whole course. Now, 
Daniela did not have the time or the patience to do the two months because applications were coming in um, soon and she was dedicated to research as well. So I had this month where I could um, sacrifice all this stuff because of like timelines or whatever other topics. But um, I had this month where I could completely dedicate myself to, to target test prep. And I would say this is the only case, like a case similar to mine, where you're already like knowledgeable on the subjects and you actually have a whole entire month, 24 seven um, dedication to target test prep. Could you use and complete it in a month? Otherwise take two or more months to complete this course because it is comprehensive, it is uh, rigorous, it is repetitive, which is like something that um, I believe not um, other courses don't really shine out, shine by, I don't know the expression, but um, this is a very complete course. And if you're not doing it right, you're, you're just not going to take advantage of it completely. Um, so, so yeah, I really did appreciate um, the the repetitiveness of it, the um, the exercises that you could like just um, work on sequentially, like from an easy point to a medium point to a hard point, and then take your tests and repeat them and go back to the stuff you reviewed like two days ago. And I mean, the whole course is set out for you. Um, you just have to follow the steps. And in that sense, it's very good because you put in hard work, which is very important for the GMAT journey. I mean, you can't expect just things to fall from the sky and, and knowledge to like fill your brain up and, and you're ready for the test. I mean, you do have to put in a lot of hard work. But these guys, they really um, stand out by, um, by organizing it for you. Um, so really, I mean, whoever's watching this, um, I have a few takeaways. <laughs> Obviously, use target test prep for your quant um, prep. I can't really speak for the verbal side because I um, prepared for it using uh, the form and I was pretty decent at it by the time I, I took my second test um, where I scored a 650. It wasn't very good. <laughs> but um, on my third test, I scored a 44 on verbal, which is pretty darn good, and a 45 on quant, which given my background is also a great achievement. So one takeaway is use target test prep it's a great deal the price is great the the technical support is great the follow the follow-up that scott and jeff uh have with you is great i mean it's something that i believe other courses don't um have like somebody personally answering your emails and um checking out on you and stuff i mean that's just something that i did not expect um, kind of a nice little um, gift, I guess. Um, the second takeaway is that you're not a loser for like not knowing this stuff. The GMAT is a test which is not made for, at least in my understanding, it's not made for smart people. It's made for dedicated people. So if I could do it, I think anybody could do it, really. I mean, um, 720 is my cutoff. I'm not going <laughs> to work on it anymore. I, I kind of suffered through the whole thing. Um, it really takes a toll on your, um, on your um, self-esteem and stuff. Um, people who are already um, invested in the GMAT know this, um, especially if your journey starts getting longer and longer by the month. Um, and my third takeaway is, well, related to the first, to the second one, like believe in yourself. Um, believe in yourself because if you have the right resources, which DTB most definitely is, and you have at least dedication, you'll get through it eventually. I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll happen for you. I did not believe this would happen for me. And look at me now. I couldn't be <laughs> more enthused about this. Thank you, Target Test Prep. Thank you, Jeff. Um, thank you, Scott. Thank you, everybody um, on the team. And if anybody has any questions uh, regarding GMAT prep or, or want, would like for me to expand on my experience, let me know. Um, I'm glad to help. This is something that the GMAT does to you. It makes you want to help, especially when you had a rough time with it. 
<laughs> so, so yeah, reach out to me, reach out to other people. I mean, everybody's out there. Everybody went through this. Um, everybody who's done the GMAT has been through this. Um, it's not a nice experience for most people, but it's a very gratifying, um, experience once it's done and you can finally hand in that application with the 700 club on it. Um, Argentine South American communication grad undergrad it's done it's done and I couldn't have done it without TTP um, they gave me that boost I needed um, so yeah thank you TTP um, see you guys later <laughs>